I'm Jess from Pampered Aesthetics. Today we're going to talk about stepping outside of your comfort zone for your business. I can't stress the importance of this if you want to grow. This I will admit is my biggest struggle as a business owner. I have terrible social anxiety. For some of you that might be hard to believe. The unknown peaks my anxiety is something fierce. Sleepless nights, the worry, the chest pains. This is all something that surfaces before events. These are the things we don't talk about as business owners because they aren't the pretty things. They aren't the things that get your name out there and build brand recognition. And with the forced reset after the fire, do we ever need to get our name back out there? In the process of trying to move forward and prepare the business for the day we will reopen, we joined our local business association in Workworth. They emailed us about an opportunity to attend Magic Under the Stars as a vendor. I closed the email and didn't think much of it, but Landon did. Landon made sure to tell Dad about the email I read out loud because he knew it was an opportunity. That night while making dinner, Tanner brought it up again. I gave him all the reasons we couldn't do it, why it didn't make any sense. So needless to say, we attended Magic Under the Stars. He knew all the reasons I was coming up with to not attend were coming out of fear, fear of failure, fear of peopling, fear of leaving the house. He squashed all of those fears and reassured me that we would be okay. And that if anything, we were just gonna get some eyes on our business. So onward we went to Magic Under the Stars. Again, all of my doubts. The first step was ordering the things to do the vendor market. One thing about Pampered Aesthetics, we don't do anything halfway. It's not our business motto, it's not who we are. We sourced a custom tablecloth as it would be the first thing that the potential clients saw. We purchased a tent to help block the wind or any other weather that might occur. It's taking place in December after all. We created a banner for the back of the tent. Custom tents are just a little bit too expensive at this time, but if they're in your budget, as a business owner, it's definitely a worthy investment as it will really set you apart. Our next step was contacting our insurance broker. You are required to have insurance to participate. The really amazing thing is they walk you through it when you sign up for Magic Under the Stars. So if you're new to it, like I was, this is the event that you want to partake in. They help you so much. Whatever market you decide to take your business to, the organizers are always knowledgeable and will be more than willing to guide you as to what they require for you to attend their event. We prepared way ahead of time. We set up the table in our kitchen, put it together how we wanted it to look and snacks, snapped some photos so that the night of our first market wouldn't be a sheer panic for us. I highly recommend not skipping this step. It will help you know if you're missing something or you need to adjust the way your display will look. We actually realized we needed to make a set of small solves to display our products a little better. So off to the shop tanner and Linda went and made something out of the old wood and bam, we we're back in business. Some felt from Amazon gave our shelf the professional quality that we seek in everything we incorporate. Pinterest is a great resource for display ideas. Don't be afraid to attend other markets and reach out to vendors to see what they're doing. As it turns out, it's a small community and everyone is more than happy to help you get set up. Bags were put together well ahead of time with business cards attached and tissue paper packed so we didn't halfway do the packing. We packed up totes of products and everything we needed ahead of time knowing the closer to the date we got, the less in order my head would be. Remember the anxiety thing I mentioned? Early preparation is the enemy of anxiety so we prepared for every possible scenario. We loaded up the van the night before, so the only thing left to do was charging the iPad and debit machine. That's our cashing out system. We didn't want to have a malfunction at the event. If you have electronics and you rely on them to conduct your business, bring some means of remotely charging your devices, just in case. Especially if it's an all day event, your equipment will die and you will not always have access to an outlet to charge stuff. The season depends too, in the winter, it dies quicker as well. Once we got there, not knowing what to do or what to expect, we were greeted by the organizers who had the exact spots assigned for the vendors. Sometimes you may know this information ahead of time, but not always. We showed up early just in case, and Jody and her team were amazing at guiding us and making sure we knew where we were going. At this point, my anxiety had started to shift from, oh my God, I don't know where to go or what to do towards, oh my God, what if they don't like me? What if they don't like my products? Or what if I make a fool of myself? Well, I'll get to that. 
Lynn, Tanner, and myself started siding up, which was a lot smoother than anticipated, and we were off ready to sell. The folks in Workworth were nothing less than amazing. People came in from all over. We talked and chatted with many amazing people. It was very warm and a very welcoming environment. If you've never been to Magic Under the Stars, I highly suggest you check it out. The main road is closed down. It's something out of a Hallmark movie. Horse-drawn carriage rides, s'more making station, there's a craft beer station, Santa making his rounds, taking the time to chat up all the children and the grown-ups to take their orders. There's not a, place, a lot of places in this day and age where you can just let your children browse without immediately being there. Magic is one of those places. It's a small town. It's absolutely perfect. The organizer stopped in to make sure everything was okay. The people were really lovely and kind. It was like stepping back into an age that's long since passed. Sometimes it's about doing the things that scare you. Not always is it bad as a situation that's playing out in your own head. And face it with your child, the people who love you and support you regardless. So if you're thinking about taking your business to a local market, don't let the fear of not doing well or not selling anything hold you back. You will do amazing, and trust me when I say you won't regret it. It will be an amazing experience to remember. And if you don't sell anything, don't consider it a failure. You're getting your name out there. If you remember a few videos ago, I mentioned it takes 10 times for someone to see your business name before they'll trust you to start doing business with you. Your attendance is letting potential clients know that you're there, you exist, and you're not just another internet scam trying to peddle wares to unassuming masses. You're a person, you're real, and you're a business. Lennon loves the markets. He can't wait till next Friday. He was handing out samples, chatting, making friends. He absolutely loves Warworth and the people in the town. The fact is, we all do. These people showed up for us in a big way after our house fire. They didn't even know us and they were there for us. We can't wait to get back home and to get involved with all things that are this little town. But the other thing that we learned, maybe we'll branch out and do a couple markets as well. Because nothing is as bad as the first time. Once you get the first time over with, you know what to expect. You learn the situations in your head didn't pan out the way you worried about. I hope this video helps you overcome fears of putting your business out there in the real world, stepping out from behind the digital curtain, so to speak. I can't express what a magical night it was, how the entire family had so much fun, and how much we're all excited to return, even if Paige wanted to run the booth completely by herself. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and check out the website. We have just updated it with a new addition. It's a blog. A place where I can unload all of my thoughts I have running around this crazy brain of mine. Bye for now. We're all set up at Magic Under the Stars. Ready to sell some stuff? I hope so.